Hey there everyone and welcome to the channel. So we have managed to, as you saw from my previous video, we've purchased a 5080 graphics card. We were lucky enough to walk in and just purchase one off the shelf. And I've already have a previous video about that. So if you'd like to see that, I will place a card for that. Yeah, you'll see that the size of the card was a massive card and it was the palette GeForce 5080 16GB uh, card. And I was unex well, as you'll see from the previous video, I was very unexpected about how big this card actually is. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a few of the issues that I've had with this card that I didn't see coming, uh, and also some of the current issues that I'm not sure if it's just my issue or whether it is a problem with the drivers, but what we'll do, we'll have a little bit of a chat about those problems, because if you are going to get one of these new cards, some of this information might be helpful to you depending on your situation. So let's start off with number one is, as I said in my last video, the actual physical size of the card. It is massive and not so much lengthwise because other cards are very similar. Um, I did put it up next to my 3080 uh, and yeah, it's kind of like a very similar length. So you will need a good size case to fit this in. But the issue that I had was with the height, the actual physical height of the card. If you have a standard size case, the card fits in. That's no worries. But the problem that comes here is when the uh, 12 volt, um, 12 pin WPR, whatever that thing's called, that, that connector is directly on top of the card. And you should be able to see that. I'll have a video or a, a photo of that. And the problem is, is that the connector that you get that comes with the card, it doesn't bend. There's no bend in there and you wouldn't want to bend it. And when you saw the distance that I had free from the card to the side of the case, I was never going to be able to fit that connector on there, which left me in a bit of a pickle. So I had to go, well... What am I going to do here? Am I going to get another power supply with a different connection? Uh, am I going to get an adapter? And that's when I looked up and I found a right angle adapter. And I didn't want an adapter. I wanted a cable, a right angle, direct from a power supply. But I couldn't find one on such short notice. Um, and there are some on auto with some places and I'd have to wait. But I wanted to make sure this card worked to start off with. Um, so I, te I tested it earlier without that adapter and it, everything worked fine. But yeah, I had to fit it in my case and I had to be able to put the door back on and that wasn't going to happen the way it was. So we went down to our local store. We were lucky to get the last adapter that they had and that was straight to um, the same pin out uh, into the card and another pin out going to a power supply. So that left me with the next issue of how many adapters do I want to have in line with that um, with that connector. And this connector has had issues in the past. Anyone with a 4090 or a 4080 will tell you that you don't want to stuff around with these connectors. So I ended up just buying a whole new power supply. Uh, we ended up with a Corsair uh, RM1000E was what I got so a thousand watt power supply uh, with the direct port coming out of the power supply going into this connector to the right angle which luckily the right angle fit it plugged into the card there was enough space I made sure that I pushed it in so it was a very good connection um, and then we put it all back together powered her up and yeah we're off to the races it's uh, been working fine so far in terms of performance, um, but we ran into a couple of other issues. So issue number two, I guess we'll go from there. Um, and also I should note that my case is a Corsair 4000D uh, airflow. So it is quite a large case already. And the width with that adapter still didn't plug in until I got the right angle adapter. So if you have, if you have a smallish case, like if you have a midi tower case that's not very wide, the width is the problem with this card. And if you buy any 5080 or 5090, for instance, that has that adapter and 
the plug sticking out vertically on top of that card and you want to mount it in its normal rotation, um, horizontal rotation, yeah, you're probably going to need a bigger case or you'll need a right angle adapter. So there you go. First tip. Uh, so problem number two. Uh, I kind of didn't know this and I think this is an NVIDIA driver issue at the moment, but if you want to play with frame generation on, especially in Cyberpunk, you need to turn on what's called hardware GPU scheduling, um, which is fine. It's just an easy setting you can flick on in Windows. But the problem with that is that you can't use it without that on. And from what I've seen so far, I haven't tried any other games, but with Cyberpunk, that's how it is. Then apparently this hardware GPU scheduling can cause a lot of issues with other programs. I know OBS has a problem with it where it will freeze your OBS and you literally can't, uh, you got to reset your camera and reset everything because it stops working. Um, so, and there's also other issues that I've heard of that I haven't had issues with yet, but this hardware GPU scheduling is an issue and you have to switch that on manually at the moment if you want to play with frame generation on. So that's something to think about. But when you're playing from, um, Cyberpunk, on high, ray tracing on, frame generation on, path tracing on, uh, quality DLSS, and it looks amazing. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a different game almost, uh, but well, kind of, but it's still amazing. So, but you just have to flick that on every single time you want to use frame generation in Cyberpunk, and maybe every other game. I'm not sure yet. I haven't tested it. So then we've got issue number three. And I thought I was um, not having too many issues at this point. I was pretty happy. I was like, okay, you know, a few little teething problems. But issue number three, and this has been my biggest problem so far, is that, and this could just be my problem. I'm not saying it's palette, NVIDIA, whatever. But I had no problems with the 3080. That worked fine. But when I'm trying to plug in four monitors at the same time, uh, I have serious problems. The computer will start up, it'll be terribly slow, it will freeze, it will just sit there, Windows will just be not responding, um, try to get access any of the um, drivers, it will just think about it, not respond. Um, as soon as I have four monitors plugged in and turned on, no good. Doesn't, doesn't just literally, nearly breaks the whole system down. Uh, very, very frustrating. Uh, I've tried nearly everything that I can think of and doesn't work. Uh, I have to have at least one of my monitors switched off for the other monitors to work fine. I didn't have that problem with the 3080. That thing worked perfect. Uh, I think this is just a driver issue. And if you have a sim rig or you have a triple screen set up, uh, like I ran a 49 for the... By, um, first person shooter games whatever uh, those games and just desktop work and making videos for instance but then I've got the sim which is plugged into the same computer for the triple screens and it just can't have them all switched on at the same time and I know people with 4080s um, even 3080s I think have had this problem like forever uh, so it is a common thing but I never had that issue but now I do seem to have that issue with this card uh, so I still think it's just a driver issue, that it's just an NVIDIA thing that they will fix up over time. It's probably something that hasn't been tested a lot. Um, but yeah, that was a, I did a lot of troubleshooting on this. I haven't benchmarked any games yet because I've been so busy just trying to fix the thing to get it working. Um, but it does work when I only have one monitor switched off. See, I haven't got the triples on at the moment and this is working fine, but Plug them all in, turn them all on, got problems. So that's something to look out for. Might not be an issue for you, but uh, yeah, it is for me. But single screen works, not, not a problem at all. Problem number four. Now, I thought I was out of problems, and this one's just a general one. But starting my computer up now compared to the 3080, it seems slower. Everything seems slower, and I do get periodical freezes. 
when it's starting up, like it's trying to load something and getting stuck on it. Whereas it used to just start up on a dime and be fine. So I'm not sure if that's a driver-based issue. Um, I'm not sure if it's something that I have installed recently for this card. I'm going to do some more testing on that, but yeah, there seems to be a few teething problems already. Nothing major. It still works fine. Like it's performing just as well as it could. The temps are great. The voltages are fine. Uh, everything seems normal except for that issue, those issues. So other than that, everything's great. It's running fine. It's running really well, actually. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, once I figure out these triple screens and get everything else up and running the way it should, I'll be happy. I'll be really happy, actually, because, uh, yeah, we had a gaming session on it yesterday. Um, and outside of these problems, uh, it performed really, 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 really well. And I know some people are not real happy with the 5080s and how well they perform. But coming up from a 3080 like I am, uh, it's a big difference. Seems like a big, big jump, almost 50% jump. So, um, yeah, and you can add on the extra ray tracing and effects that you couldn't have with the 3080 to a degree, uh, night and day to a degree difference. So, it's been good. But I just thought I'd share those issues because there's some things that you may run into if you are um, using a 5080 or planning on buying a 5080. Make sure you measure your case, uh, make sure you have enough power. Think about a right angle connection um, and the hardware GPU scheduling for frame generation, which will probably be fixed by the time you get a card at this rate if you haven't got one. Um, yeah, and the triple screen issue, especially that that is that was quite a pain for me, but may not be for you. And then hopefully the drivers get fixed up and everything gets sorted with the startup issues. Um, but outside of that, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, think about that when you go to buy a 50 series. And yeah, I appreciate your time. Thanks for that. Subscribe if you wish. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.